are building a uh, Marsh Cat. It's a Joel White design and uh, it was drawn by him back in the mid 80s I believe and it just so happens to be the perfect uh, vehicle for most of the things that we want to teach in this class which is really great to have that be uh, all encompassed in one one boat so uh, it's a 15 foot cold molded cat boat and in that we have uh, laminated parts we've got lots of epoxy uh, bonding um, we have uh, the cold molded hull itself which goes together with uh, red cedar and layers of kaya vacuum bagged so we get all of that part of the curriculum covered um, this uh, sail plan here shows uh, a mast and a yard and a boom each of which will be built uh, hollow so we get to learn how to do uh, bird's mouth construction and then box uh, section for uh, the two, the yard and the boom. So that'll make them uh, more interesting to build, lighter and stiffer, and um, with any luck, they'll stay true to the uh, true to the design and not take on any shape that we didn't uh, preordain, if you will. On day one of uh, construction, as opposed to having to loft the boat full size, we had a, a set of uh, patterns that we traced out on plywood to make all these mold shapes. And so we were plotting uh, molds and cutting them on day one and quickly moving toward getting the strong back set up with the, uh, all the molds and uh, making sure the strong back itself was true, uh, square and level. And then other parts of the uh, class we're working on doing the uh, stem lamination and prepping the center line parts. We've got two uh, pretty thick pieces of uh, sapili here making up the keel. And uh, I've got uh, two more people working on our centerboard trunk, which is uh, quite capacious. It's a pretty big board. Um, so they're doing that with uh, plywood, fiberglass, uh, they're including graphite powder in their epoxy mix for abrasion resistance. And I had uh, two other people working on our transom blank, which is here. And uh, that's going to be part of the initial setup. So all the information that we needed to make these parts um, was available from from the paper plans and uh, that's a pretty good way to start off all the all the juicy bits um, we've already gotten into building so it feels really good for the students uh, and then things will slow down a little bit when we start running our strip plank layer for the initial um, part of the hull well one of the things I think is particularly interesting in is that Joel White designed the boat he's one of my favorite um, designers and I probably built more boats to his designs than any other and so I love the fact that um, I personally have not built this boat uh, brand new we get to do all the problem-solving and uh, all of that to me is intriguing <laughs>